Hey guys, Darren here with a box review of 1995 Images College, uh, I'm not sure exactly how they refer to them, but these are the college players, uh, the, the, the upcoming draft pick cards for, uh, for college players for 1995 and well this is really 94 rookies i don't know why they say images 95 because this is looking at the 94 draft classes for everybody um it's it's a weird I, I really don't get it in fact on top of that i'll show you they have a preview card for nfl releases which is the actual 94 images cards now these are additional cards at the end of the set so it's like an update set uh, update release for cards for the nfl uh, images cards for 94 but the thing is i just don't get why they're saying 95 because this is all related to 94. um kind of a late release for doing this but at any rate this i was really curious about this because i i know these from from nfl cards i don't know them from um, from college, so that was that was what I uh, what I wanted to check out. And there's a hobby and retail. Uh, the other one has the, the has a red band on it, and the images are different. On the bottom of this, it has Shaquille O'Neal, and you can see the um, the etched foil effect on the on the bottom of the card or on the bottom of the box. Uh, it has nothing on the inside. It's it's just the the outer uh, the outer image. And then on the inside of the box, it's the same as the front, except a little bit, I think it's a little bit higher. Um, it does advertise that if you find a hot box, it has an acetate card set in, uh, that are in those, those hot packs. Um, this box was not one of those. I don't know what the rate of the, the hot boxes was, but at any rate. And then these, these boxes were individually uh, tagged with a serial number, uh, 21,655 out of 31,920. So that's how many of the boxes for, for the blue band were released. I assume it's the same for the red band. Um, basically the difference between the blue band and the red band is the inserts of which there were not very many. Now I'll start with, out with the set. I got within seven cards of the complete set. It's based on, uh, it's built around four sports. So you start off with basketball and you have, you can see the, the effect. They have a, uh, an orange or a copper uh, finish on these cards. And then for football, they have the same effect, but they have a green tint f to it. And then they get around to baseball and baseball, they have more of a reddish color for, for these. And then hockey is the end, of course, where they have a, a blue effect for it, which obviously makes sense for hockey. All the cards have the same effect on it. So the, the way that the cards look, and I'll, I'll grab Metal Realm for this. Um, they, you know, they have the, the effect around the outside. They have a little, uh, element down here, design element for, uh, images 95 in the name. Um, the, Almost all of the, the names in each sport are the same color. I have noticed at least one uh, case where that was different. Uh, classic image up there. And then the back, this is the way that the, the design of the back looks like, which is very similar to classic at that very time. So, you know, that makes sense. So yeah, I got within seven cards of the complete set, which the, these are the doubles. And you can see that there are not very many doubles. Uh, now, with the doubles, the stars that I got were Jawan Howard. I got an extra Jason Kidd, so that uh, that was good. Uh, extra Eddie Jones, also good. I got two Barry Bonds, and then I also got uh, an extra Peter Sikor. Uh, now, I did like uh, just like with two Barry Bonds, I also got two Eric Retts. So I got triples of both of those. Everybody else came just as doubles, not very many. So this was, this was a box that was well built to getting me toward a complete set. I have no complaints about getting within seven with that few, because there, there aren't that many packs, there aren't that many cards in the box. So it goes kind of quick. In the set, the stars that they have, because I got all of them, uh, you got Big Dog Robinson, Jason Kidd, of course. They have Grant Hill. And then Eddie Jones and Jalen Rose, and then Shaq. So every single one of the sports ha it ends with a previous rookie card, and that's the the important thing to distinguish. So they got Shaq here for 
um, for basketball. And then we got Marshall Falk and Trent Dilfer. And then Emmett Smith is the, the NFL star. And I believe Emmett is on the other box. I think that's the, the box bottom for the other one. Then Nomad Garcia Pata is the rookie. And then, of course, Barry Bonds is the veteran. And then for hockey, we got Ryan Smith and we got Peter uh, Sikor. And then this is why I said previous rookies, because Manon Reum is the non-rookie card for, for basketball, or for <laughs> basketball, for hockey. So that was, uh, those are the stars. That's what you're looking at for the stars of the set. It's a cool effect. It's actually kind of cool that they have the ghosting of the background behind. So you have a, a very, very different effect on it, which makes these cards unusually good for, uh, for, for draft pick cards. Uh, I, I, don't, I think that this is shortlist for best non-pro uh, cards. I just like the way that it looks. Now, I'd love to talk about a bunch of parallels. There are none and a bunch of inserts. There are very few that come through. Like I said, I did get one of the, um, one of the NFL 94 images uh, update cards, Eric Rett, so not a significant one. They also have flashbacks and I got Daniel Marshall. So again, not exactly a star. Now there is a slight, a slight etched foil effect in uh, kind of wavy patterns. I don't know if it, it's coming through at all. It's very subtle on this, which is, uh, it actually makes it kind of cool. This is one of those cards you gotta take some time and give it a chance. And then they also had their draft picks, which is NFL players. And so we got Kijana Carter here, Rashawn Salam was another one. Um, not, can't remember who the other, I think there were two others um, where this was done. And so what they did was they imagined what what teams might draft each player. Uh, Carolina had the number one pick of the 95 draft and Kajana Carter was considered hands down the best selection or the best player in the draft. The Cincinnati Bengals thought that all they needed was Kajana Carter so they traded to the Panthers to get the number one pick so they could select Kajana Carter. Panthers moved down with extra picks for their expansion. So this is really cool that I actually have a Kajana Carter Carolina Panthers card. That's, that's just, um, that's neat. I, I love, I love that. And then uh, a little bit of silver foil in here. So this is, this is neat because it's a college card that's actually a pro card as well. Uh, I love that. And I wanna, I wanna go ahead and collect uh, at least, um, at least uh, teams that I, I like, but I'd like to collect this set at some point. So getting this, to me, this was the cool thing in the set. Um, within seven cards, I can easily get the, I should be able to easily get the seven cards to finish the set, so that'll be nice. Um, other than that, that's basically what I, what I ended up with the, with the box. It's not, a, it's not a lot to it, but the cards do look really cool. That, that's the big thing that I gotta say. For, so for all of these, um, all of these releases of, of pre-pro pre players, this, one, this set stands out very distinctly. I think it's, I really do think it's one of the, um, one of the hidden gems for the prospects environment. Um, yeah, so I guess, I guess that's all I've got to say. So thank you guys very much for watching.